Hello and welcome to this new video in the Theory of Computation lecture series. Today we are going to focus on the transition graph to regular expression transformation algorithm, which is part of Killeen's theorem. And if you are new to our channel, we really appreciate if you subscribe, like our videos, and click the bell button so that you can receive our newly released videos right away. So, so far what we have seen, the different machines that we have looked at, all of them, they aim to define languages in different ways. We looked at regular expression, finite automaton, we have seen the difference. We looked at the transition graphs, which also can be seen as a generalization of finite automata, because we relaxed that uh, constraint. Today we will focus on Klein's theorem, and Klein's theorem is of utmost importance. It was uh, founded in 1956 uh, by Klein, famously. Uh, and it states that any language that can be defined by a regular expression or a finite automaton or a transition graph can be defined by all the three methods, which means, so Klein's theorem gives us an equivalence. It tells you if you have a regular expression, you can necessarily have a finite automata uh, or a transition graph. Likewise, if you have uh, one of the three, you can have the two others. So the theorem is really important. And then uh, to do the, while doing the proofs, then eventually we can come up through different transformation algorithms that will be of uh, great relevance to us. Actually, the proof to prove that has three parts. Uh, part one, which is kind of trivial, uh, part one eventually states that every language that can be defined by a finite automata can also be defined by a transition graph and which is trivial because every finite automata is itself already a transition graph because uh, it's just a special case of transition graph if you really look at it and uh, because you do, you have like as many transitions as there are letters in the alphabet while in the transition graph that requirement is relaxed. Also, the edges in transition graphs can be substring, while in finite automata, they are just letters of the alphabet. So part two um, uh, proves that every language that can be defined by a transition graph can also be defined by a regular expression. And for part two, we are going to look of a very um, interesting algorithm which is the subject of today's uh, video uh, which is the transition graph to regular expression transformation we will discover will describe a universal algorithm for doing so part three and it is really important part three eventually proved that every language that can be defined by a regular expression can also be defined by a finite automata so part three kind of the proof uh, uses a recursive definition and a constructive algorithm because every time you introduce a recursive rule you have to prove it so for that what is of interest to us is the union finite automaton algorithm how if you have two finite automata how can you build the union automata automaton and uh, second the product finite automaton algorithm so if you have two finite automata, if you build the automata, which is a product that corresponds to the concatenation of the associated regular expressions of each automata. The third uh, algorithm is Klein's closure finite automaton algorithm. So we will try to cover each of these algorithms in a separate video. So in this video, we are going to focus on the transition graph to regular expression algorithm. So the algorithm, if you look at it, it has four main steps. So first, you would create a unique start state and a unique final state if needed, meaning if you have multiple start state, you will need to create just one unique one, likewise for the final state. Step number two, so you would proceed by bypassing and eliminating all the non-initial or final state in the transition graph 
So the algorithm does not require a, a specific order to do so. So you can start with any of those intermediary state that are neither initial nor final. So you would repeat that eventually until you get to step three when there are two states remaining in the transition graph which is one of them is initial the other is final oh yeah before that so when two states are joined by more than one edge going in the same direction eventually you would aggregate them by adding the label so the final step step four when all is left is one edge two states related by one edge and the two states are the initial and final states then the label actually that we get is the regular expression that we have looking for um, eventually we would uh, whenever we uh, before we do the uh, bypass stuff like that we need to we might need to do aggregate and uh, replace eventually uh, letters in the alphabet aggregate them together in regular expressions so a little bit more uh, simplification so as like uh, a holistic view before the execution of the transition algorithm we have we would have a transition graph that looks like that with an initial state a final state eventually and then after executing the algorithm by the end you would need just you would have rather the just one a unique initial state related to one unique final state with a regular expression so we know that for transition graph it's substring so therefore we would uh, need a generalized transition graph because you know the generalized transition graph as we have seen in previous videos um, the labels of the edges are regular expression compared to uh, substrings for the case of transition graph so if you have two states related by two regular expressions and uh, by two edges uh, in parallel and each edge, edge has a regular expression r1 and r2 respectively then you can aggregate them in just one edge and you take the union of the two regular expression likewise if you have one state with three different loops you can aggregate them in just one loop and then the weight will be the union of the three regular expression so now we get to more interesting stuff, which is the state elimination. So, um, basic steps in the state elimination. So if you have three states in uh, series, so, and then you have one uh, with the first pair of states related by R1, the second pair related by the regular expression R3. So therefore, you, if you uh, eliminate the state in the middle, you will have just one transition with R1 concatenated with R3. Likewise, if that intermediate state has a loop, then that will be R1, R2 star, because R2 star is basically a loop. If you loop with R2, so you would read R2, 0, 1, or multiple times. So let's imagine this hypothetical scenario and later on we are going to look at uh, some more examples. So if we eliminate, let's look at this portion of the transition graph and let's assume that uh, the, we are trying, we are going to eliminate state number two. So eventually the rule of thumb in the state elimination process is that you have to identify the incoming states and the outgoing state. So there is eventually one incoming state that goes from 1 to 2 and there are three outgoing states from 2 to 3, 2 to 4, 2 to 5. So in other words, if we eliminate the state number 2, we must conserve the same language recognized by the transition graph. And if we want to do so, we would then take each uh, incoming state and relate it to every single outgoing state therefore we would need uh, if we eliminate state number two we would need a transition from one to three another from one to four and another from one to five now aggregating that uh, weight then comes to what we just learned so we have 
1 to 2 with R1, loop in R in 2 with R2, and then the transition 2 to 3 has the, has the weight R3. So from 1 to 3, we'll have R1, R2, star R3. Likewise, from 1 to 4, it will have the weight R1, R2, star R4. 1 to 5, we'll have R1, and R2, star R5. So similarly, so let's apply what we just learned in an, on another example. So here, this portion of the uh, transition graph, we try to eliminate state number two. So rule of thumb, what are the incoming state? Well, incoming state, okay, seven and nine. Both of them, they are incoming to state number two. What are the outgoing state? All right, we have uh, from two, we can go to 11, four and five. Okay, so we have seven as incoming state. We have to create an, uh, a transition after eliminating state number two from seven to 11, seven to four, seven to five. And we have another uh, state in the incoming set. So we would need to create transitions from nine to 11, nine to four and nine to five. And then just we aggregate the weight so for instance 7 to 11 it will be r1 r3 star because of the loop r4 and then the other weights will be similar so let's try to apply the algorithm that we just learned on this particular example so rule of thumb step number one we would need okay let's say let's see do we have a unique initial state and a unique final state and by the way the unique initial state has to be different than the unique final state so it cannot be plus minus so okay for the initial state we have two states one and three for the final state we have two states four and five so how can we do so in order to have unique initial state we can create an additional initial state which we can call minus and then we relink it to one and three with empty string remember this is a transition graph so we can have that likewise for four and five they will no longer be final state but they will be regular state and instead they will be linked to the new final state that we are going to add by empty string so by doing so we would solve step, step number one then comes step number two which is the state elimination so eventually we can for with regard to the state elimination we can proceed by eliminating any start by any state that we want let's say uh, let's see we let's say we start with state number two uh, the incoming states are one to three outgoing four and five so therefore we would create transition one to four one to five three to four and three to five so in other words the outcome of step number two would be a b a star b a and uh, one to five a b a star b and uh, likewise from uh, eventually three to five and three to four we are just aggregating the weights so next we need to eliminate state number four so we examine what are the incoming states one to th one and three are incoming to state number four in the previous uh, step the outgoing state we have plus because we go from four to the plus therefore we would need to create one transition from one to plus another transition from three to plus and it will be as simple as aggregating uh, concatenating the weights we don't have any loops in particular next uh, we can eliminate for instance state number five and likewise we will have one and three as incoming plus as outgoing therefore we would have just like uh, we need to eliminate state number five and create uh, transitions from one to plus and three to plus so if you see now we have two edges in parallel from one to plus that we can actually aggregate by in one edge with and then just we take the or of both regular expression and likewise for step state number the transition from three to five we have two in parallel 
So next we can eliminate state number one and uh, incoming is uh, the initial state, outgoing is the final state. Actually we can also leave them so far in parallel and then we'll, I, we will aggregate them in the end. And likewise for the final step we would eliminate state number three and similarly it has a single transition from minus to plus and there we go so here we have four edges in parallel that we can aggregate using like in one single uh, edge and eventually we take uh, the first regular expression or the second or the third or the fourth so if you do so that is acceptable if you want to make it if it is possible to make it uh, more readable therefore you can uh, aggregate it in the following way so a b a star b which is a factor uh, factor a or the empty string the other factor is b b b a star b factor a or the empty string you can also notice that a or the empty string is itself a factor actually a star b followed by a or the empty string is this factor so we can factorize it and before that we put a b or b b b so this is one example from the start to the end uh, that we took a transition graph we uh, we transformed it into a uh, regular expression so here we are not quite done yet because there are some special cases so if we are faced with one of the following situation in which uh, the state that we eliminate, we find out that, okay, the rule of thumb we said, let's examine the incoming states and the outgoing states. So we may find a state that figures in the set of incoming state and in the set in outgoing state, such as this case. Notice if we eliminate state number two, we have one as incoming state and uh, three as incoming state and we have one as outgoing state. So what do we do? So if we apply what we just learned, we will have a transition from 1 to 1 and another transition from 3 to 1, which is okay, like 1 to 1, that will be basically a loop. So therefore, from 1 to 1, the loop in 1 will be R1, R3 star R2, so we still apply what we have learned by aggregating the regular expression, and similarly, from 3 to 1 will be R4, R3 star R2. So when we are faced with this situation eventually we just can have have to pay attention to that so the uh, last practice that we are going to do is let's uh, try to investigate what is the transition graph after eliminating state uh, number two so this nice looking transition graph that looks like a face of an alien but don't be fooled by the complexity of it so eventually what we can apply what we have learned so state number two we have to examine incoming states are one okay and three outgoing state one and three so eventually we will have a loop in one a loop in three in addition to the already existing loop in one and the already existing loop in three therefore if we have two loops in one and dependent we can aggregate them in one loop and we can take the union of the regular expression likewise for the three and then we will have uh, a transition one to three and transition three to one so in one to three we will have two uh, transitions in parallel r8 and whatever will come from the transition 1 to 3 which will be uh, r2 r4 star r5 and likewise for the 3 to 1 we have two transitions in parallel the already existing one r9 and the other one which is the if we do the aggregation r6 r4 star r3 so we take the union of the two so eventually after eliminating state number two therefore we will have the following uh, transitions the following transition graph so if you follow up and you eliminate state number three eventually what you uh, will have is just uh, eventually uh, the aggregate of the regular expression so so far we describe a method 
of producing regular expression equivalent to the given transition graphs and this algorithm terminates in finite number of steps since the original transition graph, graph has itself a uh, finite number of states to begin with. Also, please note that one state is eliminated after each iteration of the bypass procedure and this works for any transition graph and eventually this provides a satisfactory proof that there is a regular expression for each transition graph. So with this I reached the end of this video so please stay tuned in the next video we will start discuss discussing the other transformation algorithms so stay tuned and thank you very much